You think that's funny? He's coughing, whatever he's doing. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Russ with RWGResearch.com. This is Dexter in Malachi. And uh, we're here to talk about some things. Hi, wife. There's wife over there. You can't see her. But anyway, been upgrading the 3D printer. I wanted to get this video done. And so in the midst of the chaos, I will do it. We will get it done. We will get it done. Anyway, so I've been working on 3D printer upgrades. Um, I've got some bearing problems. The bearings are down here in some slop. Uh, I actually went ahead and 3D printed my own bearings out of PLA. I tried nylon. I tried a bunch of different versions. Nothing worked um, very well because it was sticky, the nylon. I tried a bunch of stuff with nylon. It didn't work. Uh, I then, I don't have it on the desk here. I then tried printing a whole bunch of parts for the 3D printer in nylon. Uh, and there's a gentleman who left me a comment that said he's been trying to do it with nylon because I mentioned it a while back. I wanted to use nylon. Um, and he had, he had posted on a, a comment on my videos and he said basically uh, that it was too flexible. So I have two different types of nylon and I used, uh, I believe it was 618 was it? And it was more rigid. But it, when I try to print solid, it wants to peel itself off of the bed. And so that's a problem. So I haven't really able, like, been able to get it to work right. So I ditched nylon and I just stuck with um, ABS for the main parts. I printed a new part for the end effector here and I printed new carriage pieces which are up here on the top. I'm printing the last one right now. And I'm actually using the bits, scraps and pieces of, uh, of my 3D printer uh, or my, my filament that I had just little bitty pieces left and I didn't want to run big productions and it's not really the great sizes and stuff. So I went ahead and used all sorts of uh, scrap pieces from my homemade filament, uh, ABS. And that's what I've been using for all the pieces. And I've been using, uh, um, like I said, I've been using PLA for the bearings. And so part of the problem is the original bearings which are right here are uh, basically half as, oh sorry Dexter, is half as tall as this. And it actually, when it fits on the carriage right here, and you can see I got it sitting on there, it wants to wobble left to right. And so I had a whole bunch of play in these systems up here. So this would actually wobble and it would actually, the whole head would actually move and, and shift. Uh, the other problem is, is I redesigned these completely to be taller and to only have two studs. So instead of having, uh, four studs compressed against each other um, which I can show you on these old versions they're pushed together and they're actually compressing the plastic out they're pushing it out so pretend like the rod arm would be in between here and then I'm taking two bolts and pushing against the rod arm to hold it in place these will actually be threaded all the way through this single piece of plastic on one side and basically that will hold uh, the arm in place and so there'll be no more like hopefully no more serious breaking because the plastic gets brittle over time because it's in front of all this heat and uh and then it wants to break so i literally on the last leg i've glued almost every single one of these rod ends back on this printer so that's what i've been doing i just wanted to give you guys a brief update and uh, i've got some really cool interesting little pieces and parts with uh, camera integrations and stuff like that um, i'm going to be redoing the bearings <laughs> I'm testing these plastic bushings, but uh, I'm actually, I've got on order some real actual slide bearings, plastic bushings, not linear bearings, because it, it wore into my rods. And so I got new rods and new bearings uh, coming. They're actually bushings. So that's, that's my plan. And then what I plan on doing with the bottom down here is, um, <laughs> is actually, these three points are fixed to this base plate. So let me get you a little bit closer here. So these three, these three places down here, hey Dex, stand on this side for the moment, just for a second here. So these three pieces down here are affixed to this base plate. And I do not want them affixed to the base plate because the problem is, is that um, 
I want to be able to move them from corner, like the three points need to be exactly the same distance or the whole triangulation setup is off. And I think that's the reason why I cannot get the roundness I would like. I'm actually a little bit off round. So I've been working on this for a couple of weeks here at the house. As you can see, it's uh, a little hard to do, but they really enjoy it. And uh, you know, that's what I've been doing. I just thought I'd give you guys an update and I will, uh, after I get this thing done, I will show you in more detail what's going on. Elijah, we can't see you. There you go. So anyway, that's all I got for now. The kids have taken over. God bless you guys. Any, you kids want to say anything? Thank you. Oh. Hello. What I'm going to burn. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Peace Bye. 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 Bye.